We're going to test this one for symmetry. y equals x cubed minus 4x. Here's a different test right here. We want to find out if it has x-axis symmetry, you replace y with negative y. Okay, we do negative y equals x cubed minus 4x. That one, if I were to get rid of the negative by multiplying both sides by negative 1, I would get y equals negative x cubed plus 4x. That's not the same as the original one, so this is definitely going to be a no. This does not have any x-axis symmetry. Let's test the next one. We're going to test the y-axis symmetry. So now we're going to place x with negative x. So I have y equals negative x cubed minus 4 times negative x. I'm going to simplify this. I get y equals negative x cubed plus 4x. That's not the same as the original one either, so this is going to also be a no. So the question is, well, if I get no symmetry for x-axis and no symmetry for y-axis, does that automatically mean that I get no symmetry for the origin as well? Okay, let's check it out. We're going to do both of these. I'm going to put in a negative y for y and a negative x for x. Okay, so when I simplify that, I get negative y equals negative x cubed plus 4x. However, I still want to take this one, multiply both sides by negative 1, and I get positive y equals uh, positive x cubed minus 4x. Now this, this is the same as the original one. So this does in fact have origin symmetry. So, it, so even though you get no symmetry for x-axis and y-axis does not mean that you get no symmetry for the origin. So now let's find those intercepts. Every time you want to solve and find the intercepts, you always want to do the same process. So if you want to find the x-intercept, this is always what you do. You want to put in a zero for y. Zero equals x cubed minus 4x. To solve this, we have to do a factoring step. We're going to factor out, in this case, the most we can pull out is going to be a single value of x. The x is to the first power here, that's the most we can pull out. We have three of them, we're going to remove one of the x's, we get x squared. Take out the x from this one, and we get minus 4. So this one, this can be factored one more time. We can use the difference of squares to factor that one. So this is going to be x plus 2 and x minus 2. We need to take all three of these individually, set them equal to 0 to get our answers. So x is going to equal 0. We get x plus 2 equals 0. And we have x minus 2 equals 0. This one is already solved, so our answers are going to be 0, negative 2, and positive 2. So I have all, all three of those are going to be my answers for the x-intercept. But now I want to find the y-intercept. For y-intercept, you put in a 0 for x. I get 0 cubed minus 4 times 0. That gives me 0. So again, because I got a 0 for the x-intercept, you're going to get a 0 for the y-intercept as well because it goes through 0, 0. Your x-intercepts, 0, negative 2, and 2, your y-intercept is just going to be 0.